Good morning, dear students. I hope you are fine. Today we have lesson two. It's about do. Do is an irregular verb. It's a three forms are do, did, and done. The present simple third person singular is does does we use do as a main verb and an auxiliary verb we can also use it as a substitute verb do as an auxiliary verb do is one of the three auxiliary verbs in english be do and have also we have emphatic form we use do and does both in present symbol or the past symbol to give extra force to the main verb we use the infinitive of the main verb without to and stress do and does or did when speaking like i do study my lessons hard I do study my lessons hard. Do as a main verb has a number of meanings. For example, take part in an action. Can I do anything to help? Here, do means take part or participate. Okay, so do has a number of meanings the second meaning here is to complete or deal with something she does her work accurately it means she completes she completes or work she has a lot of homework to do tonight study the students have to do english in primary school the students have to do english in primary school or produce who did the design that of that dress who did the design of that dress but it means also clean my sister was doing her room when my mom came back it means my sister was cleaning she was cleaning her room okay so now we understand that do has a number of meaning not just the meaning that we have said but more meanings we get we give an example we give examples of the meaning of a number of meaning uh, of do and here we want to uh, show that we have to use do and does it depends on the subject or the subject pronoun I do he does okay and you should know that it ends with the sound okay she he does she does it does we do you do they do do we use do and does to ask and answer we can use them to ask and we use them in the answer in the full answer or the short answer do you play tennis yes i do it's a short form of course but when i say yes i play tennis it's a full form does your friend like does your friend like fishing no he doesn't or yes he does negative form don't and doesn't don't and doesn't i don't kayak she doesn't read comics my cousin doesn't speak french they don't ride motorbikes they don't ride motorbikes 
and you should know that hear kayak or read or speak or write they they don't end with sa or any uh, letter we can't add uh, we can't add uh, suffix here okay so after don't and doesn't we can't add anything to the verb interrogative sentences okay when we ask direct directly we use do and does do you skate on holidays yes i do or no i don't here in the form we should use do and does to ask of course we use do with i we you and they and does we will we will use we use them with third person singular okay he the subject uh, the subject pronouns he or she or it or the nouns interrogative form here we will use does does your brother ride a bike yes he does or no he doesn't adding a place here we are talking about how can we write a sentence and we how can we add a place or a time to a sentence when we use do or any other verb of course but here we are talking about do so uh, we use uh, in in the present symbol so we use uh, we learn how to use place or time to a sentence okay to give a complete meaning and it doesn't mean that we don't use uh, time or place in other uh, sentences or with other verbs but just we have to give examples to using them here i do my homework in my bedroom at seven o'clock I do my homework in my bedroom at 7 o'clock. Here, we start with, we start with the, the place, then the time. And the second sentence, we use, I do my homework at 7 o'clock in my bedroom. So, here we start with the time, and after that, we, uh, we add the place. So, both are correct okay both are correct we can use a time you can start with a time or the place we can add more information about time i wanted to remind you that we don't talk about just we, we don't talk about uh, do or does when we talk about time and the place but we talk about any other verb i do sports at 5 p.m on sunday here here we add more information to the time on Sunday at 5 p.m. or at 5 p.m. on Sunday, okay? So we have more information about time. We can add more information about place. I do my homework on my desk in my bedroom. Here, I tell my friend that I study in my bedroom, in my bedroom and is and specific place here we talk we talk about start doing my homework on my desk and now we want to know how can we ask about time and the place since we talked about them today asking about time and the place using when and where where do you study your lesson here we ask about the place I study my lesson in my bedroom when do you study your lesson here we talk about about what about time we ask about time i study my lessons at seven o'clock okay thank you and i hope you understand our, our lesson today until we meet again thank you and goodbye